the mountains are the first to suffer from rising temperatures. We are witnessing a reaction from the biotope. There are animals. You can definitely feel it's getting hotter. Animals that are used to snow are affected by its absence. The second modification, which is much more annoying, it's the action on the snow, but especially the glaciers. Glaciers are alive because they move and evolve. It's ice. Is it hard? Not at all, it's more like marshmallow. These glaciers are experiencing a rise in average temperature. They melt very quickly. Today, if you go to Chamonix, for example, the sea of ice has receded drastically over the last century. What is interesting, this is a simulation carried out by Ecole de Lausanne. They believe that in 2050, 80%, that's huge, 80% of Switzerland's glaciers will disappear. The Swiss are worried. If glaciers are threatened this way today, it's because of what we call permafrost. It is a permanent type of ice found inside the mountains. This permafrost is destabilized by global warming. Look at these images. What's in blue is ice. It acts like cement between the blocks of rocks. Without it, mountains fall apart. The blocks held together by the permafrost are breaking off and you can see huge mountains crumble. We mostly see it in Chamonix, where there are regularly quite spectacular images of entire mountain sections that are crumbling. It was October 19, 2015, precisely in Switzerland. Luckily, no one was close enough. In addition to these gigantic landslides, the melting of permafrost has another effect. This one is even more perverse. The permafrost melts and releases gases that were stuck in it for a very long time, especially methane. That's what worries me most. It's going to release billions of methane bubbles. As you know, methane is 30 times worse for the climate than carbon dioxide. In two years, we could have more than one degree of average temperature on Earth. Meanwhile, in two centuries, we had 1.2 degrees. It would be an absolute climate disaster because an average degree means it will be much warmer in continents and much hotter at the poles as well. And then there will be no more ice flows. Even the glaciers would fall off. It's terrible. It can happen in 2028 or 2035. I don't know when. Are we going to grieve for our mountains in the next few years? Are we still going to ski? Scientists are skeptical about this. In 2050, mountains will experience a significant reduction in the snow season. In the years to come, there will be no stations below 1,800 meters. It's a great change. These are all the changes currently happening in the mountains. 